Hello again, we are live from the LinkedIn Hub at Advertising Week, and I'm sitting with Paul Kramer, who is the CEO of Catapult, and we're talking about a, a, a new phrase, I'm, I'm learning things as we go along through this process, which is conversion-based conversion, uh, conversion -based marketing, which is different than advertising, apparently, and we're here at Advertising Week, so I <laughs> definitely need to know the difference. So um, why don't we start with that, talk a little bit about that. All right, Mahad, conversion marketing is really where advertising will be in five to ten years from now, but it isn't there yet. Conversion marketing is recognizing that um, the goal is, is to drive consumer action. Mm -hmm. Traditional advertising drives consumer awareness, intent, and desire, but doesn't truly drive action. Mm -hmm. When you start to move into conversion-based marketing, you're trying to drive action. That action can be a click, it can be a search, it can be any type of uh, social uh, activation, getting people to socially engage with your brand, being part of a forum, mm -hmm. uh, and then eventually the goal is to buy. Cha-ching! Yeah. Cha-ching, <laughs> to drive that cash register. So um, what we do in conversion marketing is we provide at every communications point an off-ramp. Um, years and years ago, the off-ramp was simply putting a URL uh, in your ad, and I remember fighting with creative directors and, and the creative teams about, I don't want to muck up my TV advertising with a URL, you know, and I couldn't know what that is. That was the very first stage. But now you're starting to see companies, automotive companies, for instance, um, utilizing their television ad to open a door for more information. So for instance, um, my, my cable company, Cablevision, I was watching a, a Dodge truck ad um, recently, and I saw the advertisement, and they provided me with a, a link to uh, another station. They said, if you want to find out more, turn to channel whatever the channel was. Mm -hmm. And when I turned to that channel, they gave me more information. They realized that they had a, uh, a, a true truck lover who wanted more information about torque and engine size and pulling capacity and pound load and all those types of things. So they let their advertising lead me into an action. And that's where you'll see more and more advertising going today uh, or in the future. And what we do is, is we really focus on looking at those off-ramps where consumers can uh, engage more closely with the brand. Well, let me ask something because it seems, it, it seems fairly basic. I mean, all advertisers ultimately want the cha-ching, they want people to buy, so why isn't everybody, or why didn't anybody think of this a long time ago? Why isn't everybody saying, let's make it actionable right here, right now? Like, why, why has that been a thing? Because what happens is that today, consumers are always on. Five years ago, they weren't. Smartphones weren't as prevalent as they are today. And with the smartphones and the tablets, desktops, I now have access to um, be able to move through that process mm -hmm. of the awareness, intent, desire in seconds. Yeah, it's so, like whoosh, fast move. forward the whole thing. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you've been in this situation, Maha, where you know it's maybe like you know the day before your mother's birthday, and oh my God, you forgot that it's her. Uh, it's her if birthday. I buy mom's presents. Months in advance. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's an anniversary. Okay, okay. And you sit there and, and you're not even thinking about it, but it comes to you. Oh, yeah. You jump on 1-800-Flowers online. Uh -huh. You've moved from being just a regular, you know, consumer walking around to now you're a shopper. Uh -huh. You go quickly through. You pick what you want. You hit buy. You've now gone from being a consumer to a shopper to a buyer in seconds. And you're so happy with it that you go online to some social network. You talk about I just did my 1-800 flowers. It is oh my God! A great they saved experience. me. Yeah. Right. Okay. Tomorrow's mom's birthday. Right. It saved my life. So yeah. you've gone the whole cycle in what might have taken before hours or days or weeks mm -hmm. to minutes. Yeah, and that's think, why I mean, it's so important today. It seems like the trend of the, the digitalization, the digitalization of our world, has made us all expect that process. Like now, because I know in the back of my mind that I can accomplish that in 30 seconds. It's like I can save it till the last minute. And I think the expectation is changing. Is that, you know, I can and I can and I will accomplish that. And so as a result, it seems to make sense. So I want to think. I want to talk a little bit about the digital world and moving into the digital world and has that kind of gone parallel with your work or did which which came first and or did they just kind of flow together? No, actually um, our, our foundation of, of Catapult Marketing is really a behavioral based marketing company, you know what you would call a promotional marketing company. Um, so we've always been uh, in the mode of trying to drive consumer action in the old days through paper coupons, economic purchase incentives, sweepstakes, games, contests. But with the digital world coming on board so fast, it's really opened up so many more channels for us to work in and so many more tools to work in um, that you know we, we, we feel that we're a precursor to the digital evolution or the di digital revolution that it's we're going through It's amazing now. foresight, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, being in the right place at the right time is always important. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, we're here at Advertising Week and there's no shortage of CMOs. 
no shortage of marketers here, and you have kind of an interesting philosophy on on what what their concerns are versus what their concerns were a while back, like a decade back. So mm -hmm. let's talk about that. Well, you know, we know that I'm sure that people have shared with you the fact that the average tenure of a CMO has greatly diminished. Uh, and More they, talent and creative people at this point. Yeah. 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 I mean, you you've got to be able to show um, proof of performance instantaneously. You really don't have the luxury of, of waiting. And in today's world, with the economic situation that we're in now, with a more sluggish economy, with global growth, you know, being uh, having slowed down, with the impact of much lower oil prices, um, consumer dynamics, CMOs are now more and more being measured on their ability to impact sales. And um, so a very yeah, and direct, that, immediate correlation. Yeah. Very much direct and immediate correlation. And if they're working for a publicly traded company, then that really is the be all and the end all because that greatly affects the stock performance. Yeah. So what I've seen even in the last five or ten years is a shift for CMOs to start to move away from, again, not walking away from uh, the importance of brand imagery and what their brand stands for and having a strong brand profile. Mm -hmm. They still very much care about that. But now they're equally, if not more so, worried about how are the sales of the brand or the product doing. That used to be the responsibility of the sales force, and the CMO would say, not my, not my problem. Not sales problem. isn't getting it done. I do done. the warm and fuzzy. I make it, you know, yeah, exactly. Exactly, That's exactly. Really so they're, they're now uh, much more focused on that. And they're much more focused on the channels that they, they deal with. So, you know, whether it's um, uh, the DIY channel for Home Depot or Lowe's, how are, they, how are their sales doing for Home Depot? How are they doing at Lowe's if they're a durable good? If they're consumer packaged goods, how are they doing at Walmart and Kroger and Safeway? Mm -hmm. So it really has changed their, their focus um, and brought the sales and the, and the marketing sides closer together at uh, major corporations. Well, I think at this point, most all of the different departments and all of the different kind of segments of it have to come together in this new world with all the different platforms and everything. I think that has to generally be the case, right? Yes. Um, and integrated planning and integrated uh, marketing planning um, is, is so important, but it's so hard to do because you do have people who um, have grown up in a siloed world. Um, I think that, you know, again, over the next five or ten years, um, people who have been more are digital natives versus digital tourists mm -hmm. and who move more seamlessly across different channels and different categories and talk about different types of things will be more open to uh, looking at things from more than just one perspective. So you've got your sales team that's looking at it from a strictly sales perspective and your marketing and your public relations and your operations and your logistics teams. They all need to come together today to effectively impact a, uh, a market. Well, that's, thank you. Um, thank you, Paul. I mean, I, that's some really interesting and, and very different kind of perspectives than some of the stuff I've been hearing throughout, <laughs> which is always great. Thank, thank you so you. much. Enjoy the rest of advertising. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh, thank you.